G'day, I'm Paul, that's my cannon. Today we're going to do a bit of a video log, catch up on why I haven't done any adventures in a couple of months. Follow along. So for those of you that don't regularly follow me, three months ago I went with the Cozzy 4x4 club to Woodhill on a night run, severely damaged the truck, in short I dented just about every panel, um, I'll link to it in my description my Woodhill video, uh, anyway covered by insurance, amazing, so the truck's been away at Burnie Farmer Panel and Paint for three weeks and it spent a week at Hamilton Stripes and Signs because the truck basically had an entire overspray. Amazingly, Hamilton Stripes and Signs took a photo of my decals, replicated them almost identically to the ones that I put on a year ago, so super happy with that. Um, yeah, so I've been without a truck for three and a half weeks, I think. Um, so I'll give you a reminder of the damage. Oh, might hurt me to watch it again. Here we go. Well, let's have a bit of a reminder about what the damage is. Door handle, door and door. C pillar. The tray, the bumper, hopefully they install my custom lights again, we'll have a word to them about that. The flares, also the tray, and of course the front door catching down here. It should be all done. Yep, so I finally caved. Got myself an ARB Simpson 3 rooftop tent. Haven't used it yet. Put it on about three or four days ago. Did a wee video with my phone of me erecting it and then packing it up again. Have a look. I've had a number of people ask me how long it takes to set the tent up from scratch so I'm going to prop my phone up and you can watch it in real time, yay! The flickering is caused by the fluorescent lights in the shed this will be the first time I've set this thing up from scratch on my own
getting hold of it, so I'm going to just push against it with my back. Grab the thumbs on the side, lock them in place. Inside tent. Also has locking poles. There we have it, I'm ready to lie down, take it for a walk inside. So there is an annex that goes around the outside, along here and around the back. I might use that if I'm going on long adventures. There's locking poles here on the side, and then as you climb inside, This is what it looks like on the inside. Uh, these elastic bits are just to help pack it up. It pulls the walls in when you fold the tent up. There we go. I'm pretty sure packing up has been going to be more complicated, but let's give it a go. Too bad at all. So this happened. This is an empty passenger seat. A couple of months ago, Teresa and I decided to call it quits. So single ladies. Not sure whether I've showed everyone already, but put another light bar on because all four wheel drives need many light bars. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, since putting on the rooftop tent. It doesn't work very well. I get a rooftop tent shadow behind me. So my plan is probably this week is I'll mount it under here, under the rooftop tent. Um, also, I've cut off my locking handle from my hard lid so that my tailgate can open independently. <sighs> rooftop tent definitely puts a bit of weight on so this is going to be permanent at some point but in a couple of weeks i've got drawers to mount in here so she'll be a full-on camping machine i've also put a central locking unit inside the tailgate so you can slam the door lock and i'm locked and i'm locked there you have it, this is the end of my vlog, um, it's now November, uh, 40 second traverse opens in three and a half weeks, I'll be keen to do that fairly early on, um, I've got the weekend of November 25th, 26th, booked to go bush, not sure where I go but definitely keen to go out, was going to go hunting with Matt but he's bailed out recently, um, that's it. Looking forward to a summer of camping and adventures and getting out there in the truck. I'm Paul.
and this is Video Log, Episode 1.